this is the preliminary type of steering mechanism to turn the rudder. Still these types of steering mechanisms are used in small boats and river crafts. So what we have here is the steering wheel here and the ropes attached round the steering wheel and here are the pulleys one, two, three and four. Whenever we turn the wheel, the steering wheel to let's say this to be the starboard side and this to be the port side. Now I turn the wheel to starboard side to turn my boat to the starboard side. What I'm going to do is just put it starboard and the port side rope is going to get pulled and there's going to be slack on the starboard side. So as the port side is going to get pulled through these pulleys, the rope will tilt the rudder like this it's going to pull the rudder from this part like this where there's going to be slack so the rudder moves this way so the tiller or the pivot point is over here or the rudder stock is going to be over here somewhere so as the rudder moves it turns like this and slowly it will become like this and due to the water pressure from the propeller the ship or the boat is going to turn to the starboard side. This is the preliminary arrangement which we still have in river craft. Let's now move on to the next arrangement. So this is the next arrangement. This is called as push-pull type. Push-pull type or the cable type. Two arrangements are possible. This is arrangement one and this is arrangement number two. The first arrangement over here is a cable which is attached again to the helm, helm wheel and as the helm order is given either to starboard or port, there's going to be rack and pinion arrangement and this pinion is going to get attached to the rudder stock through mechanical means. So, as the rack moves towards starboard side as per the helm order the rudder stock is going to rotate based on the pinion gear there is one more arrangement where the bigger sizes of rudder stock can be handled with the similar arrangement where there are two cables outer cable and inner cable which means the inner cable is sheathed so that it can be prevented from any other damages and as the helm order is given the rope or the cable gets pulled thus the rack and pinion arrangement starts to rotate which in turn rotates the crown wheel and thus the rudder stock so this is the second arrangement let's move on to the third arrangement that's the box and gear arrangement so the diagram is little bit not clear however this arrangement can be found in little bit bigger boats even sometimes in some uh, offshore vessels a smaller size offshore vessel so the steering wheel is coupled with a chain to the chain sprocket and this shaft is going to get supported with the help of bearings over here as the helm wheel is rotated the chain drives the chain sprocket over here so that this shaft starts to rotate and there are going to be two or three universal joints depending upon the boat size and length so this transfers the shaft rotation and then there's going to be a differential gear or the bevel gear which is something like this so as the main shaft over here rotates this is going to rotate as the gear, gears are engaged and as this is going to rotate in this direction the rudder and the tiller arrangement starts to move so this is one more arrangement of operating the rudder or the steering mechanism let's move on to the next development that's the simple hydraulic system without feedback so they have replaced all the mechanical linkages with the help of hydraulic oil there's going to be the top uh, the hydraulic oil tank and that's going to top up the hydraulic system in case of any leak so the helm wheel is going to be let's say rotated to the port side the pistons over here move to port pressurizing the oil in this line 
and this high pressure oil pushes the ram and this piston or ram comes out thus moving the rudder stock so this is a simple hydraulic oil arrangement on the other side of this piston the oil is going to go return back to the tank so all the mechanical linkages are taken off and replaced by hydraulic means now the next one is a complete electro sorry it's not electro hydraulic it's a hydraulic steering gear with a feedback mechanism so again there's going to be a helm wheel this is starboard and port let's say I'm going to move to starboard so this rack and pinion is going to move up and as it move up the telemotor transmitter this area is called as telemotor transmitter which is going to get located in the bridge so this is going to move up and then it, it's the oil in this area is going to get pressurized and thus moves the lever down here this linkage is going to move down and as it moves down this will become like this thus the pump stroke is getting altered here which means the swash plate pump stroke is getting altered thus oil moves in the pipeline under high pressure moving the ram thus the steering gear is getting turned or the rudder is getting turned and as the rudder turns there's going to be a feedback mechanism and this part is known as hunting gear and again the position as this rudder starts to move the position or the stroke of the pump becomes zero thus the rudder stops moving I will explain the movement or the working of hunting gear in a separate video and let's move on to the latest electro hydraulic steering gear so the transmission from bridge to the steering gear room is going to be completely electrical signals the hydraulic transmitters have been replaced by electric and there is a solenoid valve or the solenoid control valve or directional flow valve which also has manual operation so in case of any electrical failure you're going to operate this there's going to be variable variable delivery or unidirectional pump depending upon the design so as per the helms order let's say the signal from here activates the solenoid this is going to be going like this so high pressure oil from the pump is going to go and then it's going to push the ram and then as the ram starts to move the rudder is going to rotate like this and the return oil is going to go back to the tank again and there are bypass and relief valve, relief valve over here provided for safety so in case of the electric signals are cut off or autopilot signal is cut off you can operate through this that is emergency steering operation so these are the developments right from olden age to present electro hydraulic uh, steering gear in the future videos we'll see one by one in detail like safe matic operation hunting gear working everything in detail